Okay, we are back today. Welcome. How you doing? Hopefully the weather outside is nice for you. It's very nice for me, even though I'm indoors in an artificially lit room. Anyways, uh, we had a question about our DaVinci Resolve timer video, um, where we went through and made a timer in DaVinci Resolve with milliseconds. Very important, with milliseconds. And the question was, how do you have a timer where it's going and then it freezes on the screen, right? Instead of just cutting off, right? So you want it to go and then stop and then hold that timer for a little bit while it's on the screen. Um, so I figured that out for you guys, and we're gonna go through, roll the intro, and then we're gonna go into DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how to do it. We're finally in DaVinci Resolve. It's only taken us about 15 minutes. For you, it took about 20 seconds. Aren't you lucky? Uh, but we have a couple of text boxes laid out. So we're gonna go ahead, here's our original timer, right? We made this in the last video. We have a pause timer, right? Which, which is what the commenter was, wa was wondering if they would learn how to do. And then the fancy with it, we're gonna take our pause timer and continue it. And then to make sure that we know what we're doing, we're gonna go ahead and pause the timer. Okay, so to begin, let's go ahead and make our just basic timer like we did last time, right? Right click, add expression, and then you're gonna go over here and hit time divided by your frame rate. For me, it's 976. Boom, there you go. There is your timer, right? It's going from zero all the way up to one second, three seconds, four seconds, eight seconds, all the way up to whatever. All right, but the question is, how do we pause the timer? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go anywhere you want. I'm gonna go ahead to between these two little text boxes because I already have it all laid out, but go, go wherever you want your timer to stop, right, the frame that you want to stop, and you're gonna cut your timer into two things. Now, without moving your playhead, without moving anything, click on the second half of your timer, the part you want paused, and then go back to your timer box and say remove expression. That'll turn it back into just a normal text box that you can go through, you can edit it, right? You can put words in here. We don't really wanna do that though. And you can go through and now it'll pause, right? It'll pause. Now, if you have your, your playhead somewhere else, if let's say like it's over here or over here, it won't actually pause at where you ended it. It'll pause either before the timer ends or it'll pause after the timer ends and it'll jump around. So when you're cutting it and pausing it, you wanna make sure that you are at the point where you've cut it and stuff like that. To do that, it's really easy to use the magnet tool and just position yourself into a nice position. So there you go, super simple. You have paused the timer. If that's what you're looking for, awesome. But we're gonna get fancy with it now. We're gonna go ahead, bring another text plus down, right? And we're gonna continue the timer, okay? We're gonna go ahead, make another basic timer, right? So click here and do the time divided by your frame rate. And it's gonna go up and it's gonna say zero again, right? You're gonna be like, how is that continued? It's at zero. Well, if you take this pause clip and extend it, and then you just say the time plus another timer, it's actually gonna like be super off. So what you have to do is actually create a new timer, create a new like zero point, and then go through and copy this timer and then place it in here, boom. So text your pause timer amount and then add a plus and then you're gonna add two more parentheses and then when you do this, you'll notice it's at 634 and boom, now it's at 10, 5, 12, whatever. And then for the same thing, we're gonna go ahead, extend it out, cut it at the mark, bring our playhead over and remove expression and now it's paused yet again at that. So here is a clip of the full sequence of the timer and everything. Really, really nice looking and everything. So again, all you have to do is extend your timer out past where you want it to stop and where you want it to be paused by. Cut the clip in two, put your playhead on the clip division where you cut it, and then on the right clip, the, pad, the clip you want to pause, right click, remove expression, and that is it. And then if you want to continue it, you have to create a new timer with the new text plus, do the whole basic timer, and then add in the time from the pause timer. And it's 
It's really simple. So I hope you guys learned something awesome today for DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully this will up your game and kind of do that little added bonus feature that, you know, maybe people will notice and go, wow, that guy actually, that guy, that's kind of cool. I like that. And yeah, other than that, have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting a like. And maybe if you want to see more, maybe even subscribe. And if you have any more questions or comments about cameras or editing or anything, leave them in the comment section down below. And I'll make a video for you explaining to you how to do it. And maybe someone else has the same question, so you never know. Anyways, have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. Since you're gonna come back and I'm just gonna be like, head in my hands, <gasps> please work. Maybe it's just broken. What is the, what in the world? Upstairs, I literally just did this like 10 minutes ago. Every time I click to change it to a timer, it just breaks. Every single time.